Hi, this is Homely Cha. I'm Tanya. Today we're going to learn forecast resistance and support. Welcome, follow my Facebook and YouTube, Homely Tanya. If you want to learn more about stock knowledge, welcome, follow my Telegram channel. The purpose of the course is to teach you how to analyze individual stocks, not to recommend your stocks. There are two factors that influence the formation of resistance and support. Let's learn the first factor, the highs and the lows. The highs formed after price up, called resistance. The lows formed after price down, called support. Why? Because when price up to this place, cannot go further but turn downwards, that means this place has resistance. Same, when price down to this place, cannot down further but turn upwards, that means this place has support. When in the downtrend, it's same, the highs and the lows. The highs formed after price up, called resistance. The lows formed after price down, called support. Why this place has resistance? This place has support. Because when price up, to this place, cannot up further but turn downwards. That means this place has resistance. And when price down to this place, cannot down further but turn upwards. That means this place has support. For resistance and support, there are two properties we need to know. First, resistance can convert to support and support can convert to resistance. Second, resistance and support will have a constant impact on price. For example, we see here, the previous high, the resistance. Once break to, the resistance will convert to support. We support here. And this is the previous high, the resistance. This resistance will has a constant impact on price. Here we face the same resistance again. Resistance. And once break to, the resistance will convert to support and we support at the same price. So these are two properties of resistance and support. Let's see a case. Just now we learned the high forms resistance and the low forms support. This is the high forms resistance. This is the low forms support. Why this is resistance and this is support? Because price up to this place cannot up further. That means face resistance, so price down. And when price down to this place cannot down further, but up, that means this place face support. Resistance has a constant impact. When price here face the previous resistance, break two, the highs we formed resistance and the lows formed support break two up further here the highs forms resistance and the lows forms support here the highs forms resistance when price down we see when price dropped till here, here this place the lower shade of this candle almost touching the previous support that means support also has a constant impact on price. Price rebound a bit and drop again. This price, the lower shade of this candle, also very interesting. This price is almost the same price as the previous high, the previous resistance, now convert to support. Price support here, rebound a bit, but drop again. And this candle also very interesting. We see the lows, the new lows is almost the same as the previous high there. That means the previous resistance now convert to support. So this candle support here and price rebound and drop again, support again here. Price rebound to this place. This place is very interesting, it's almost the same place as the previous high the previous resistance. That means the previous resistance has a constant impact on price. Price down again, 
based on the highs and the lows. We know this stock, current resistance here, 1.38, current support here, almost 1.05. Very easy. This is we learned the first factor that will influence the resistance and support. Next, we'll learn the second factor which will influence the formation of resistance and support. That is volume. Let's see this green column. That means that day, volume very, very, very big. No matter upwards or forwards, we cannot find the second similar big column. This column we see is the volume of this green candle. If we draw a line, draw half of the highs and the lows of this green candle, we draw a line. This line has big impact on price. That because that day, huge volume bought the stock and the same huge volume sold the stock. Those investors who sold the stocks, we don't care. Those investors who bought the stock that day, what happened to them? We see price down, price drop a lot. That means those who bought at this candle, they lock inside. We see volume is not very big. That means only a big investors, they choose to sell when price drop. Most investors who bought at this candle, they lock inside. So when price rebound back, closing the previous the candle, this price, a part of investors, they will choose to sell. Heavy selling pressure, price down. Price rebound again, a part of investors who bought at this candle, they choose to sell. Heavy selling pressures, price down. Every time, a part of investors who bought at this green candle, they choose to sell. Heavy selling pressure, heavy selling pressure. So volume is the second factor that affects the formation of resistance and support. Let's see this case. In most cases, we will find relatively distributed volume. In this chart, we find two big columns. This red column and this green column. Very big and outstanding. First, we see this green column. This column is the volume of this red candle. If we draw a line of half of the high and low of this red candle, and the half of the high and low of this green candle, we find these two places. These two price very important. This price, we face resistance here, face resistance here, face support here, and face support here recently, face support. This place, we face support here. So volume is the second factor that will influence the formation of resistance and support. Let's see KLCI, the index. If we see the index, this period of a chart, we find the biggest volume is this column, this green column. This column, you see, is this green candle. If we draw a line of the highs and lows, the half, if we draw a line, we will find, we'll find an interesting sign. This half, you still remember the previous high? This rebound, the resistance is the same as half of the green candle there. If we make the chart small, we'll find another big column, this red column. This red column is the volume of this red candle. If we make the half of high and low, we draw a line, we'll find another interesting sign. We find this place. This place is the high of the last rebound. So now we learned volume is the second factor that influences the resistance and support. Why we always focus on the biggest volume, biggest column? Because exactly we want to find which place, which price has biggest volume. If there's a place, no huge column, no huge column, but add those volume together, this place, this price has big volume. That means this price also has a very important impact on future price. 
so we need a tool which can help us calculate the volume based on price. Right toolbar, we click CD, Chips Distribution. This indicator helps us calculate which price volume big. This long blue bar means this place has big volume. If we compare with this column and this column, we know this column is bigger than this column. This column is the volume of this candle, and this column is the volume of this red candle. But now we find this column. This blue bar is smaller than this column. Why? Even this day volume big, this day volume smaller. But if we add volume together, this price has bigger volume than this price. So this price is more important than this price. If we want to know the resistance and support for current KLCI, we can make the chart small, small, and we move mouse to the left side of the screen. We find 2014. September 30 till now 4 years so this is 4 years volume distribution on price we find the longest price here this place the second longest price here this place for current price this long blue bar is the resistance and this long blue bar is the support if we move mouse to this long blue bar the lower of this long blue bar we find the current resistance is 1716 and the support will be 1670 so this is the resistance support for current HLCI we know the resistance will be 1716 and the support will be 1670 and the resistance is stronger than the support because resistance has huge volume. If we want to find out the shorter resistance of KLCI, we can make the chart bigger. You see, this is the longest bar of this period of chart. That means this price has big volume and the resistance is around 170A. So now we learn 170A is the short term resistance for index KLCI. This is what we learned today forecast, resistance, and support. If you want to learn more about stock knowledge, if you want to learn how to analyze individual stocks, well, you can attend our free stock seminars this week. Thursday and Wednesday at JB, Pingnan and KL, we have free stock seminars. If you want to attend the class but not member yet, please WhatsApp class number 123 to 601-765-007. Both seats for you and your friends. Okay, see you next time.